you like raspberries, you'll love this tart. One of my absolutely favorites. This beautiful tort has such a history and that here it is today, as fresh and delicious as it was then. It's one of my favorite times of year, raspberry time. And this is a recipe, one of those really Jewish wandering recipes. It started in Poland many, many years ago when a woman named Julia Kronhill received a recipe from her sister-in-law for a raspberry tort. She brought the recipe in her mind, or maybe on a piece of paper, but my guess it was more in her mind, from Lublin, Poland, where she lived, to Warsaw, Poland, and then the war broke out, fled to Lithuania, and from there took the Trans-Siberian Railroad, as many other Jews did, and ended up in Shanghai. From Shanghai, she and her husband, Jacob, went to Australia. And I met her in the mid-70s, who showed me step-by-step step how to make this absolutely delicious and luxurious raspberry tort. So let's get started. I still like to use my cold butter cut up in pieces. And I like using a food processor for this. It's easy, um, it, it, it does the, the, the job quickly. Here's, but the only thing that I've done is I've cut down on the sugar. They use a cup of sugar, I've used three fourths of a cup. The vanilla, I'm gonna mix the salt in the baking powder together with the flour and grate the lemon rind. I'm going to use my lemon reamer that I just got when I was in Cuba a few weeks ago. And it was a wonderful trip. And here's an, and the, just the juice of a half a lemon, about two tablespoons of juice. So I'll put this in. Just going to cream the butter and the sugar and then put in the flour. Do this until it comes together. So what I did was I mixed all the ingredients and I knew it would come together in a ball. So what I'm going to do is wrap this up, refrigerate it, and then in about an hour or so, I'll take it out of the refrigerator. So what we're going to do is roll this dough out. You have to put a little bit of flour if it's too sticky. We'll roll it, see, it's better. We'll roll it out. Okay, now I'm just gonna press it flat into the mold. Now what, we're gonna, what I'm going to do is put the pie in the oven to crisp the bottom of the pie tin. I took this out of the oven a few minutes ago and it's, it's already very cool. So what we do is we put some raspberry jam on the top of the crust. And this will absorb the juices from the raspberries. And who doesn't like raspberry jam anyway? So now we take another third of the dough and you, what I do is I just roll it in long strips and then I'll cut it and then I'll put it around here and 
and then press it with your fingers. Okay, so then what you do is you put the, the berries, the washed and dried berries in. I use three pints of berries, a very expensive cake, but you don't, you could use two if you wanted to. And notice no sugar in it, none whatsoever. It's totally natural. Then what you do and we roll it out And this is the way people made noodles in those days. You know, they were, if you made kasha varnishkas, you would do it like this. Not with a machine to make little butterfly noodles. So you do this underneath and this over. Over and under and over. You just press this in, press it around, we just took this beautiful raspberry tort out of the oven. It smells amazing. This beautiful tort has such a history, and I want to thank Julia Cronhill for passing this on to me, and thank goodness she did. It's just a wonderful cake, one of my absolutely favorites. If you like raspberries, you'll love this tart. As Mrs. Cronhill would have said, S. Gesundheit. Bon Appetit.